This is a quick video for Mountain Rescue Association admins who would like to make changes to the mission data portal. Today we'll work with the 2018 data portal, which I've added a link to the homepage here. There'll be a thumbnail on the homepage as soon as it's ready to launch. And you'll see here when you open it um, as an admin, you get the options to make edits here. There are lots of ways to access this, but you'll notice all it does is change the URL to ampersand edit here. And that puts us into a configuration mode. From here, each of the tabs can be viewed, but you'll see here now you get options for some of the text. Um, we'll just do a quick test of adding a new tab to show you how it works. I'll click add here. We can add web maps, images, video, and websites. And one of the things you might want to do is add a tab for a uh, mission survey. To do that, I might want to grab the link. This is the link that you would want them to access from within the story map. And I can quickly paste that in here and that'll add a new tab to my page. We don't need to do that because it's already in here under the enter data tab. But what I'd like to do is make sure we have the latest version in here, which is something we'll do when we launch the website. I want to make it so that it doesn't unload when the reader navigates away. I want them to be able to come back to this tab and pick up where they left off. And what we will do is grab the URL from the latest survey. This isn't the final, but when we have the final, this is what we'll do. And we will paste it in here. Configure. Again, make sure that that is checked off. We will allow it to be loaded over HTTPS that allows them to do geolocation. And most of our apps are moving in that direction. And we'll click Save. And that will embed the latest form. The other thing you want to do is update the tab over here, which will show up um, when they're using the story map. Paste in that new link. Update the text. And then if you want to leave the QR code scanner uh, in there, I'll show you where to pick that up. You'll do that from the uh, survey123.arcgis.com page. Go to the latest mission where it says collaborate. And this is really the best place to get links for the surveys uh, rather than through other parts of ArcGIS Online. I can explain more about that later. And you'll see here, the uh, right now the survey is shared with everyone. Eventually, we'll turn that off and we'll just share it into the mission data group. Mission collection for the MRA. Um, I'll leave it shared with everyone for now, just for testing. And then you'll notice down here, we have the option to generate different links. It just changes the URL. Uh, in this case, it would force it to open in the native app. This one will provide the option to open it in the app or just the browser, and then this one will just open in the browser. Let's go ahead in this one and provide the option. But instead of them pasting in the link, I'll generate a QR code. And if you have a snipping tool, uh, which comes with Windows, the trick is just to set it to delay, and go ahead and click New, highlight that. And I like to grab the little text in there that tells you why you're scanning it. can save it locally wherever you would be saving it. I'll just call this QR uh, 1.133. One, we can come back to over here and delete the old one. And you can point to existing URLs or you can just upload. In this case, we're gonna upload the image. I'll leave that caption in there just for now so that we remember which version it is. And I'll click Save. So again, you'll want to come back to this when we're ready to launch and put the latest URL in here if, uh, if I haven't done so already. We'll need to make other updates. Uh, I can cover that in another video. But for instance, we'll need to add that uh, final survey layer into the Maps Are Online app. But I'll, I'll save that for another time. All right, thanks a lot.